For the last two years, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman has been held in solitary confinement in a New York jail after his extradition to the U.S. on an array of drug trafficking and murder charges. Security for the trial will be tight, considering Guzman famously escaped from prison twice in Mexico, once through an elaborate tunnel in his prison cell. Even with Guzman in handcuffs, prosecutors and the judge worry his associates could still pose a danger to people involved in the trial, like cooperating witnesses and even jurors. This former New York City police detective says precautions will be taken and the jury will likely be kept in a secret location. They don't want to have any witness tampering, they don't want to have any threats, they don't want to put their families uh, in that position too, so they're going to be extremely careful with the, what they do with the witnesses. Despite the seeming mountain of evidence against Guzman, this is a trial that will be very complicated and long, with dozens if not hundreds of eyewitnesses expected to be called to testify. The judge is saying this is a trial that could go on for more than three months. Edgardo Buscaglia, a world-renowned expert on organized crime and drug trafficking, says many of Guzman's crimes took place in the U.S. From ordering killings to trafficking drugs to uh, designing the money laundering channels into U.S. criminal networks, um, commercial activities within the U.S., uh, they infiltrated the banking system through very well-known banks around the world. So you have an incredible number of um, cases where the criminal network uh, led by Guzman Lueda, Chapo Guzman, has been involved in all kinds of crimes within U.S. borders and in many other countries. He says the trial will have little impact on the day-to-day -day operations of the Guzman's right. Sinaloa cartel. As a message is fine. In terms of the actual impact on a criminal network, it will not make any impact. Prosecutors saying a conviction of Guzman will do one thing, it will put an infamous drug kingpin away for good. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, Brooklyn.